All right. If my opponent means to position six or seven, I always move my checker to my weak spot, which is my Achilles heel, and so that he cannot um, put, place a checker there. So he's decided to exchange, and then I'm going to develop my single corner now. See what he does. <clears throat> So now it's safe to develop my single corner. So I'm going to move my checkers out for my single corner. And he's got to check at the, the, his sweet spot. So obviously he's going to try to attack my double corner, which is always a good idea to do that, of course. Okay. So now I'm going to make it difficult for him to attack my double corner by moving that checker there. Okay, so I'm going to support that checker so it can't be squeezed. I'm going to continue to develop my single corner so that this checker cannot be squeezed. Okay, now that he's done that, I'm going to break up this line of checkers and to weaken his position. So that's I'm just going to exchange here. Okay, so now it's I've broken up this line of checkers because remember, it's very important to form lines of checkers or columns of checkers so that you can exchange and get some two or three shots. So let's see what he does. All right, so he's trying to get a three shot. Do you see it? You see, that's great. So obviously the best way to um, avoid that is to move this checker here now. Or I could just um, pitch it and then um, squeeze it. So that would be the best thing to do, is just pitch it and now squeeze, and then um, you'll get your checker back. And now, um, this checker is going to be here, and it's going to um, face off two checkers, which in reality gives you an advantage because it, it acts like an extra checker. So. If whenever you can, you should always uh, place a checker um, facing off two of his back row checkers, which cannot be squeezed. So now this check cannot be squeezed anymore. And now he, uh, he he's lost because I can um, easily get a king now. And also there's an elbow here. So if he doesn't do anything about, well, <laughs> okay, well, he's lost because he, he couldn't really do much about the elbow. So obviously I'm just going to. So he's lost. So win 9 out of 10 games. Go to YouTube and search for winning checkers. Okay. And that's the best way to take direction, take it instead of the other way. So now I can get a king. And obviously I still have my um, anchor checkers. Well, I actually have three checkers on my back row. So it's impossible for him to get a king himself. So he's lost. And he has more points than, than I have. So this was a fairly easy win for me. So it's just a matter of now exchanging checkers and also to face off checkers. It's impossible for him. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven checkers. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have one extra checker. All right, so we're just exchanging. And of course, I'm not going to put my king here or here um, because obviously he'll get a two shot. Two for one. 
So you got to be very careful that you don't form a elbow yourself. So the safest play would be to try to squeeze this checker here now. Okay. All right. And now we should just, um, this checker has is hanging now. So I'm just going to come after it now. He should really give up, but um, you know, some um, players just continue. Okay, let's get a king. Oops, he's made a mistake. <laughs> he's giving me a two shot. Do you see it? So all I need to do is to just make a wait and move. And then I've got a two shot. So I'll just make a wait and move with my king. You see it? Okay, so I've got two shots. So now... It's four checkers against six, so time it. I'm just just gonna chase this checker down here. Okay. Keep chasing it down, and obviously you just move that checker out of the play way. And then move this check here. So he's run out of moves, of course. So, all right, so now we just chase this one. What we're going to do is to just squeeze this one because it's a hanging checker. There's not much you can do. <laughs> Okay, I can put this check here, although I formed an elbow, he can't uh, take advantage of it. Because he has, uh, he has to move his king or this um, check here, or this check here. Okay. And now we're just going to face off again. And the face off. He can't form a bridge because this king is here. So all you can do is exchange. So whichever way he goes. Okay, so he's exchanging and then we'll just face off here. Face off. He's obviously just going to self destruct now, of course. And then put the king here, and that's it. Great. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope um, you're learning all the, um, how to defeat all the different um, openings. So please um, stay healthy and happy and um, subscribe to our videos.